Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and welcome back to another FIFA 19 career mode video on the channel and today we're bringing you something different. This is a bit of a video, a head to head video, a bit of a versus experiment. Today we are taking the future of AC Milan and they're going to be going up against the future of of Inter Milan. Now, this is a concept that I can't take full credit for. This has been a concept on YouTube that has been done by a lot of career mode content creators that you guys might be aware of. A lot of them like Rich Lee and B Monus, but also a fellow career mode content creator, S2G's made a few of them this year, such as the future of Real Madrid and Barcelona. Make sure to check it out down below. Make sure to check out his channel down below. Probably the biggest derby in all of Italy and all of Serie A is AC Milan and Inter Milan and today we're going to be looking at their youth prospects, putting them all in a team. They're going to be going head to head in a computer versus computer match and we're also going to put them in FIFA 19 career mode. We're going to simulate one season and see how they perform, compare it to each other and see who is invested better in their youth and in their youth academy in the Primavera squads as they call it in Italy and who could have the bright future out of the two Milan clubs obviously they're going through a bit of a rebuild cycle at the moment both Milan clubs were you know really dominant in the 90s and early 2000s but have kind of dropped off it dropped off in recent years but now we're gonna be looking towards their future and these are the squads as we get into them and here are the first look at the squads we're gonna be starting off with AC Milan we're going with a 352 formation here for the Rossoneri and we're going uh, starting off with their two strikers we have obviously Andre Silva who is on loan at Sevilla at the moment but he is still only 23 years old the Portuguese we have up top with him their recent purchase it's Christoph Biontech the Polish target man has been performing really well for AC Milan he's pretty much scored in every single game he's played El Pistilero and he's got that famous celebration one of my favorite celebrations in football at the moment as we move on to the center attack and midfield spot but i did a video on him in fifa 19 and that man is lucas paqueta the recently added fifa 19 career mode god has a bright future ahead of him and has a big future in this new ac milan team as we move on to of course uh, one of the youth prospects that are actually Italian in this team. It's Patrick Cutrone, obviously playing for the under-21 Italy squad and also just having a breakout season a few years ago. As we move on to the two central midfielders, currently Locatelli, who is out on loan at Sassuolo this season, but still only 21 years of age. I feel like he's been ar around for a while now, but it's Locatelli in there. The, it the Italian central defensive midfielder has a big future at AC Milan as well as Mauri, Jose Mauri, still 22 years of age, one year older than Locatelli, but yet again, another Italian in the team, the central midfielder. We move on to the right-hand side. You guys might remember him from a few years ago. It's Alan Halilovic, the right midfielder now, used to be central attacker midfielder. Uh, he was from Barcelona, moved to AC Milan. He's currently out on loan at Standard Liège. He's still only 22 years of age. Five foot seven. He's going to play, be playing at the right midfield spot. As we move on to the defense, it's the captain Romagnoli. 83 overall. He's probably one of the highest uh, overall players in this team. And of course, only 24 years of age as well as the new boy from Juventus, Caldara. And we have the man that has recently moved on loan to Frosinone, my team Frosinone in Serie A. It's Simic from the Czech Republic. He's going to be in the centre-back three as we move on to the goalkeeper, Gianluigi Donnarumma. Still only 19 years of age. It's unbelievable how young and how good Gianluigi Donnarumma is, but he is going to be finishing off this future of AC Milan team. As we're going to move to the bench, it's not really uh, that filled with wonder kids. Of course, we've got Plizzari, the 18-year-old Italian keeper, does have really good potential in FIFA 19 career mode and is going to be on the reserve, uh, on the substitutes as he's going to be a backup for Gianluigi Donnarumma. As we move on to another Italian, young Italian wonder kid, it is Calabria, the right back. Unfortunately, we couldn't fit him in this team because of the 3-5-2 formation. But surely he could come in the back three or even be that right mid spot with Halilovic. And then we move on to Frank Kessie, of course, on loan for two years at Atal from Atalanta. 
but I do believe AC Milan have an option to buy him, but he's only 22 years of age, still Frank Kessie, the Ivorian, and of course, Andrea Conti, the right back slash right mid, has had a lot of injury problems, but is a bright young talent. Probably about it, AC Milan, not really having that many young wonder kids in their squad, but their starting 11 is full of them, and that is the future of AC Milan team. Now this is the future of Inter Milan team. These are the best wonder kids and young gems that Inter have either out on loan or in their team that have a bright future ahead of them at AC Milan. Of course, we're starting up top with the man on loan out at Frosinone. Of course, my team, a lot of hidden gems are out on loan at Frosinone from these two Milan clubs. It's Andrea Pinamonti. I'm a big fan of him and I'm sure he has a future not only in the Inter Milan squad, but in the Azzurri squad as well. We move on to center attack and midfielder. This time it's another striker. It's Martinez from uh, Argentina. He's still only 21 years of age. Lautaro Martinez. So I couldn't really fit the two up top, but he is going to be like the center forward, center attack and midfielder of the team. We move on to the right hand side. It is Politano from Sassuolo. He's moved to Inter in the summer, of course. Still only 25 years of age. He's going to be that right midfield spot. As we move on to the left, it's Keita Balde, still 23. Recently came from Monaco. He's also played for Lazio as well. We move on to Emmers. He is the Belgian 19 central midfielder currently out on loan at Cremonese in Serie B. He has a really decent potential on FIFA 19 career mode and could find himself a future at Inter Milan. In that central midfield spot, maybe be a replacement for Nayan Golani. We move on to another another wonder kid. Uh, this time, Italian one kid that Inter have out on loan. High 80s potential for this guy. It's Bastoni from Parma, but we're playing him at central defensive midfield today. But just because of the lack of central midfield young gems that Inter have in their ranks of at Inter Milan, as we move on to the right back spot, it's Bakayoko. He's currently out on loan. The Frenchman is a right back slash right winger. Could find himself a future at Inter as well. As we move on to the two centre backs. Uh, we first have Van Hudeson, the Belgian 19-year-old centre-back, has high mid-80s potential, around 85, 86, and he starts off at a 72. He's on loan at standard Liège, similar to Alan Halilovic from the AC Milan squad, and he's going to be partnered up with the captain, Gravillon. He's on loan currently at Pescara, another player on loan at Parma, it's actually Di Marco. He scored the winner against Inter, against his parent club at the San Siro for Parma in one of their first wins in Serie A. It was absolutely crazy. Di Marco, the left back, 64 rated. We have Caramo on loan at Bordeaux. The Frenchman right winger Luciano Spalletti and loaned him out to Bordeaux in League One. Oh, and I completely forgot, Radu in goal. Uh, he is 21 years of age. The Romanian is currently out on loan at Genoa and he's starting for them. So I guess he's getting a lot of game time there and he's doing really well. I mean, I've watched a few games of his and he's made a lot of decent good saves. So the Romanian could find himself a future at Inter Milan and replace him, Danovic, in goal. But those are the two teams. Let's see how they face off in a computer versus computer match and see which Milan club comes out on top. And guys, if you go ahead and enjoy this video and this type of video, please make sure to smack a like on the video, subscribe for more FIFA 19 career content, leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see in the future, follow me on Twitter, the link is in the description, let's get straight into the video. So here we have it live at the San Siro, it's the future of AC Milan, taking on the future of Inter Milan, it's going to see... We're going to see a lot of good things tonight from the youth of both Milan clubs. It's going to be an interesting game. I've got my money on the AC Milan team, but obviously anything can happen in these uh, head head to head clashes. But it's going to be really interesting to see how the Wonder Kids perform on the big stage, especially at the San Siro and in a derby as well. Could we be seeing the future stars of Serie A and Milan on show tonight? That will all be revealed in this game and the career mode experiment coming up after this game. But let's have a look to see which Milan club comes out on top. And I'm also going to leave a poll. Which club has the better future based on these future teams and wonder kids in their squads leave a vote for ac milan if you think they have a better future leave a vote for inter milan if you think they have a better future in terms of their wonder kids other than that we're gonna get straight into the computer versus computer battle let's get into it went to silver silver cuts back he's gonna whip it in paqueta has a little early chance there but the header goes wide 
couldn't get through the AC Milan defense. Paqueta puts a lovely ball through to Christophe Biontech. He's touched it too heavy, but he still gets a shot on Radu. And uh, Inter Milan clear it. Ball through. Patrick Cuturone whips it in. It's Andre Silva and AC Milan have got off to the perfect start here at the San Siro against the future of Inter Milan. It's Andre Silva, the man out on loan at Sevilla at the moment, gets them underway in this clash and breaks the deadlock between the future of sides. And it was a beautiful ball in from Patrick Cutrone, the whip, and somehow Andre Silva found it from a very tight angle. Uh, Radu in goal couldn't keep it out at his near post, and it was a beautiful half volley from the Portuguese star. And the future of AC Milan go 1 0 up, thanks to. A Cutrone cross and a lovely Andre Silva finish. And if a lot of you were questioning Cutrone's positioning on the left-hand side, he's gone and gotten an assist for his efforts. So, proving that he can play at striker and left winger. Gives it off to Paqueta, Paqueta, Mauri, Cutrone. A lovely ball through to Andre Silva. Can he find a decent ball in the middle or is he going to stay with it? No, it's a decent cross in. Lucas Paqueta nearly got the second there for AC Milan. It was a good header, but Radu saved it. Once. Lautaro Martinez at the center of all Inter's attacks, but has come to nothing yet. Lautaro Martinez can find Bastoni. Can Bastoni thread the ball through to Politano and Donnarumma with the big save, but Politano gets the rebound. It floats right in front of the Italian's feet, and he gets into Milan, the equalizer here in the 25th minute. We have got a, hand, a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, and... Inter Milan, I said they needed a response, and what a response it was. Bastoni, the makeshift CDM, playing him at the central defensive midfield position, threaded the ball through beautifully uh, into the path of Politano. Donnarumma did really well to make the save. Politano ended up getting the rebound and slotting it into an empty net. It's the future of Inter with the equalizer. Which the Croatian, can he work something here in the box? It tells him Maori. Giving it through to Locatelli. Can he find an assist this game? He gives it off to the end. It's Cutrone. Patient build-up play from AC Milan at the moment. Christoph Biontech throwing it back to Jose Mauri. A little one-two between the Italian and the Polish. But Piontek thinking about the shot there, but not going for it. As more patient build-up play from AC Milan. They're just holding the ball. They're happy to have possession in this half of the pitch. But it's Paqueta finds a beautiful ball through to Andre Silva. And that could have been the one that puts them ahead for AC Milan. But the Portuguese striker fires wide with his weaker left foot. And couldn't find the back of the net there. Radu was scrambling. Spreads the play out wide to Bakayoko. Bakayoko can find Politano, the goal scorer on this right-hand side. He's going to cross it into Pinamonti. He's going to head it back to Emmers. And it was a bit of an audacious shot from the Belgian but Emmers couldn't find the target there and put Inter Milan into the lead and Pinamonti fires the ball through to Gagliardini is it going to fall to Pinamonti no he might fall to Keita Balde Keita Balde puts it through to Politano he's going to cut back can he find an opening here Politano he goes for it and he just fires wide unfortunately for Politano couldn't find his second the ball to the right hand side it's Alan Halilovic the Croatian, can he find a good delivery? He does, and Lucas Paqueta is on the end of it. He didn't convert his header in the first half, but his header in the second half, he slots into the bottom right-hand corner, and the Brazilian gets his second goal at the San Siro. Of course, he scored one in real life and dedicated it to the Flamengo tragedy where he came from in Brazil, but he has gotten a lovely header there. He's not a striker, he's not a target man, but he's leaped above uh, Matteo. Politano there and has gotten the header to put AC Milan, the future of AC Milan, 2-1 up against Inter. Can he create something again? It's Christoph Biontech. He hasn't done much this game, but Paqueta shifts it off to Lakshaw. Lakshaw takes a shot and it comes off the post, the right hand post. But Inter have failed to clear the ball and they've cleared it straight into the path of the Portuguese striker Andre Silva. He gets a double here in this game and he puts AC Milan, the future of AC Milan, two goals to the good here. They're 3 1 up at the moment and looking to cruise to victory against this future Inter Milan team. Look at this beautiful. 
beautiful shot from Laksha, and I don't know who that was, Di Marco, was fail failed to clear the ball. He passed it straight across goal. That is something you learn when you're first starting off to play football, is you don't pass across goal. And Di Marco, the Italian wonder kid for Parma, has literally just passed it straight across goal into the path of Andre Silva. A shocking mistake from Di Marco. Can Inter bounce back? Nan Golan come on for Emmers and he finds a ball into the middle and Perisic has found the header to make it 3-2. A bit of a cheat there as Inter, the computer, threw on their experienced players such as Nan Golan and Perisic. And Nan Golan had a beautiful delivery. Perisic jumped up for the header and it was a goal made by the experienced players in the side unfortunately. So Inter Milan doing their best to come back into this game and they have so far. They've made it 3-2. Donnarumma couldn't keep that one out and the Croatian gets on the score sheet. And there we have Jose Maldi getting replaced by Bakayoko. Hasn't done much this game, the Polish man, but can he create something towards the end of the game? We're into stoppage time. Inter might be able to get an equalizer here, but we'll have to wait and see. As they three minutes of added time, what can they do? It's Nan Golan. He puts a ball through to Lautaro Martinez. Pinamonti is in the middle. Can he get onto it? No, he can't. Romagnoli clears it. Lautaro Martinez finds it in the box again. Nan Golan commits the foul, and that is going to be it for the future of Inter. That was their last chance, and it looks like AC Milan are going to clear this one out for the win. But that is going to be it. The future of AC Milan are victorious against their rivals Inter Milan. Their future is defeated 3-2. It was 3-1 before the likes of Perisic and Nan Golan came on, but uh, the likes of Pinamonti, Politano wasn't enough to defeat AC Milan. They go down 3-2, but we're going to see who comes out victorious in career mode. So now we move into the realm of FIFA 19 career mode to see which team not just in one game, but last better throughout the whole season. Will, where will they finish in Serie A? How will they do in the Champions League and in other competitions such as the Coppa Italia? We're going to find out in this one season simulation. So we've arrived at the halfway point of the season. We're going to have a look at the league table. And we're going to see Inter dangling in the relegation, near the relegation zone, two points away. It's currently Empoli, Parma and Genoa in the relegation zone. But Inter are sitting on 18 points They're in 16th place. They're actually tied to 14th place with Roma as well. So that's very interesting to see, of course. Inter in 16th. That is definitely something I didn't expect. We're going to have a look to see where AC Milan is. AC Milan are actually in third. They're competing for the Scudetto with their young squad. 38 points halfway during the season. They're currently uh, in the race with Juventus and Napoli, as well as Lazio. Spalla in fifth, Bologna in sixth as well. So this is being a really interesting Serie A season so far, but we're going to see what happens at the end of the season. We're only in January now. What's going to happen at the end of the season? Let's see. So we're at the end of the season in Serie A. We're going to see how the future Milan clubs did. We can sort of get a preview there. Inter ended up finishing in 13th position there with 45 points. Uh, I don't know if that's disappointing from their youth team there. But 13th is definitely not where they want to be, especially Roma uh, in 12th there with 46 points. But how did AC Milan do? do? They ended up in third. They didn't push for the Scudetto, but they ended up getting Champions League qualification. Uh, 69 points for the Rossoneri. They ended up in third. Four points behind second place Lazio. Juventus ended up taking the league with 92 points. Spal and Spal and Kievo Verona actually ended up finishing in fifth and sixth. What a crazy Serie A season. Sassuolo and Cagliari in seventh and eighth and Fiorentina in ninth. We're going to take a look at the other competitions such as the Coppa Italia who ended up winning it. Inter for finishing 13th, they ended up winning the Coppa Italia 2-1 against Napoli. So the future of Inter might not have done well in the league, but they definitely made up for it in the Coppa Italia. Where did uh, the future of AC Milan get knocked out? Let's have a look here. AC, the future of AC Milan ended up getting knocked out in the round of 16 against Genoa 1-0. Inter ended up finishing bottom with only one win. They get they got knocked out of Europe. Ended up getting knocked out by Bayer Leverkusen 3-1 on aggregate in the round of 16 in the Europa League. Yeah, guys, take that with what you will. AC Milan and Inter Milan obviously both 
have bright futures ahead of them in Serie A and of course in Milan. So guys, let me know down in the comments if you did enjoy the video. If you did, go ahead and enjoy it. Please smack a like on the video. Subscribe for some more FIFA 19 career mode content, experiments, challenges, all that good stuff. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. I've been BCHD. Thank you guys so much for watching.